Hi viewers, please support my channel to subscribe, like and share. Also please comment on video, thank you all. G.D. Naidu, Gopalaswamy Doraswamy Naidu, was an Indian inventor and engineer who is referred to as the Edison of India, and the wealth creator of Coimbatore. He is credited with the manufacture of the first electric motor in India. His contributions were primarily industrial but also spanned the fields of electrical, mechanical, agricultural, hybrid cultivation, and automobile engineering. Naidu developed an independently internal combustion four-stroke engine. He had only primary education but excelled as a versatile genius. He is also known as, Miracle Man. G.D. Naidu was born at Kalangal, Coimbatore on 23 March 1893 in Madras Presidency, British India. He was the son of a farmer. His childhood years were spent getting in trouble at school. He disliked attending classes. Naidu obtained work as a server in a hotel in Coimbatore with the intention of saving money to buy a motorcycle. After getting the vehicle he spent time dismantling and reassembling it, and later became a mechanic. He began his transport business in 1920, with the purchase of an automobile coach. He drove it between Polachi and Polani. In a few years, his Universal Motor Service owned the most efficient fleet of public transport vehicles in the country. In 1937, the first motor to be produced in India was brought out from G. D. Naidu's factory, New, National Electric Works, at P. Lamadu, Coimbatore. G. D. Naidu developed India's first indigenous motor in 1937 along with D. Balasandaram Naidu. The motor's success resulted in the founding of Textool by Balasandaram and, later, Lakshmi Machine Works. Naidu's, Rasant, Razor incorporated a small motor operated by dry cells, called Heilbronn. Among his other inventions were super-thin shaving blades, a distance adjuster for film cameras, a fruit juice extractor, a tamper-proof photo recording machine and a kerosene run fan. In 1941, he announced that he had the ability to manufacture five valve radio sets in India a mere 70 rupees a set. In 1952, the two-seater petrol engine car costing 2,000 rupees rolled out. Production was stopped subsequently, because of the government's refusal to grant the necessary license. His inventiveness was not confined to machinery alone. He researched and identified new varieties in cotton, maize and papaya. His farm was visited by Sir C. V. Raman and Sir M. Vishwishvaraya. From laying foundation to completion he built a house in just 11 hours, from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Third prize for Universal Motor Service Razor Company for razor blades in an exhibition in 1936 in Leipzig, Germany. In 1935, he personally filmed the funeral of King George V in London. He met Adolf Hitler in Germany. He invited K. Kamaraj to many functions. Among the Indian stalwarts that Naidu's camera captured were Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and Subhas Chandra Bose. Naidu remained an outsider to politics, despite having contested and lost in the 1936 provincial general elections. He was gifted a Rolls-Royce car and he was the only one who had this luxury car in those times. In 1944, Naidu retired from active involvement with his automobile combine and announced several philanthropic measures including grants for research scholarships and welfare schemes for his employees and the depressed sections of society. In 1967, the G.D. Naidu Industrial Exhibition was established. Hi viewers, please support my channel to subscribe, like and share. Also please comment on video, thank you all.